Hey guys, what's up? And this will be my video on custom keyboards on 3.0 on 3.0 plus. All right, so this will be the tutorial to get uh, custom keyboards, any keyboard you want in the source. So what you'll have to do is go to Manage Sources, Edit, Add, and the source will be iaccess. dot com slash apt and what you'll do from there is add the source but I have already added the source so I will not add the source again okay so what you'll do is go to the I access source okay so uh, here's the I access source and what you'll have to do is download I access for English right here Alright, so after you download iAccess 4, what you'll do is go to your home screen and then you'll turn off your iPhone or iPod Touch completely, then reboot your iPhone or iPod Touch. After that, you will want to go to the iAccess app right here. Okay, so what you'll do is, as you can see, there's lots of uh, buttons to this app, but what you'll do is uh, completely turn off everything on the iAccess app. Everything should be turned off, every switch. Okay, so then all you have to turn on is enabled right there. Okay, after that, what you'll do is go back to Cydia and then search uh, I access uh, keyboards that you will like. Okay, so here are some iAccess keyboards that are there. So I chose the iAccess iStorm keyboard and that will just give a Blackberry Storm keyboard. As you can see, here is here are the keyboards for iAccess. To make sure it is an iAccess keyboard, it will say iAccess as the first letter for the package. All right, I'll give you a quick demo of the keyboard that I have chosen. This is a BlackBerry Storm keyboard for the iPhone or iPod Touch. It's very simple, and what's a very what's significant about this keyboard is that when you double tap the caps lock, it goes all the it makes all the letters caps lock. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and rate five stars. And all the sources and packages will be in the description.